Hi there, sorry I couldn't find um a note. I think I was doing uh, another note like just this one here and I was trying to explain but I'm gonna use my hand. Okay, so when when there's uh three um uh, levels, right? When it's come pretend my uh the back is open. So if it's in the level of the nose, more so in here, that's more so the oral um like pharynx, okay? So um sorry, nasopharynx, okay, the upper, okay, where it's level on the uh on the ear. Okay, this is usually lined by a ciliated um, mucus a membrane. And it's there's a cornea or on the right and left, posterior um nares and the, the, the right and left of cornea okay there's that nasal cornea, uh, cornea and then it's more so of like a shell shelving and there's like uh set, set up okay and uh, there's also that use station canals uh, auditory tubes and pharyngeal uh, tonsils um which is the adenosis right um usually um Tonsils are disregarded a lot uh, before, and now they're recognizing that as part of the immune system. Okay, but I'm not gonna get into that. Perhaps we can do another video for that. Okay, so that is the nasal pharynx. Okay, where the the nose and at the back. So if you were to peel uh, the back, that's where it's located because the front is um the trachea. Okay, uh, uh, like I said earlier in the video, and then um the middle part is the oral pharynx where all uh, it's located where the mouth is right it's level to the mouth oral meanings oral cavity and you can see be, you know you have to be really uh, be aware uh, of our uh, pharyngitis in this manner okay and then uh, there uh, the laryngopharynx uh, is is the lower you know uh, it's the lower part here where the neck so it's basically at the back of the neck um you know, where um, the main, um, you know, stem of the bronchia, uh, bronchi, sorry, sorry, but with my pronunciation again today, um, I always have a um, hard time in, in um, some words to pronounce, but especially if I'm uh, speaking um, fast. Um, I just want to mention also about um, the two, uh, pairs of um, small uh, elastic cartilages uh, before we um, go further down because the next topic will be the larynx, right? So, um, uh, arith, uh noise and then um, the cornicoids and then the cuneiforms. Those are the three pairs of the small elastic cartilages, okay? And I um, also wanted to mention about the quantifying pulmonary ventilation. So it's like cardiac output um, equals to a heart rate uh, times the, you know, I'm going to show you the, the, the notes that I did here, right? The stroke volume. Okay. Similarly, we have that, um, you know, uh, volume and then we have um, with the tidal volume and the frequency. And with this one here is um, we're talking about how of the breathing per minute, right? Okay, 15 breath, and I did uh, also that calculation um, for the ventilation. And we have to, oh, sorry, we have to realize that um, the laryngeal um, aperture is where that the air is flowing towards going, going down to the lungs but that's where it's going um from from the atmos uh, atmosphere going to our nose but for mouth breather goes to the mouth like me sometimes because i'm asthmatic right and because of um my teeth and i always have problem with teeth so i tend to like breathe with my mouth so it goes into the mouth and then um or a nose part um uh, primary supposedly uh, the only and then it goes um, um, down uh, that way okay and now um, I just wanted to um, mention uh, so we're now at the larynx okay 
So larynx is considered uh, the voice of uh, Bosch, right? So it, what it does, it projects outwards as the Adam's apple. I'm going to show you my notes here. Okay, and um, it's lined by the non-carotenizing -carot stratified squamous epithelium, right? And it's a... Um, and the laryngeal um, aperture is located in around that uh, the larynx, right? And uh, the ventricle, you know, just like the heart, there's also ventricles, right? Um, in the larynx area. Uh, it's, you know, usually the, the chambers where the vocal cords are located, okay? And for um, the intrinsic muscle, they're, they're responsible for the opening and close, closing of the, uh, the clauses, um, you know, by changing the tension on the uh, vocal cords. That's what, um, you know, the job. And then the muscles of the larynx, either it's an extrinsic muscle, it's for circular um, contract, uh, contractions uh, muscles. So if it, it has to like constrict and doing its job of uh, circular constriction. Okay, and then um, it's innervated by the lingeral um, uh, nerve. So for us to not um, forget that. Okay, um, so for, um, uh, I mentioned earlier that the laryngitis, right? Um, um, that's carcinoma of the larynx. Um, so it's associated with heavy smoking and drinking. And after a laryngectomy, um, we have to train, uh, train the patient, let's say a, um, a client is coming, um, for our therapy, for help, or all that, um, they need to be able to know how to train the patient and um, direct them to the proper um, um, therapy that they need. So they're going to be trained to do, um, you know, some proper di redirecting of their, you know, esophageal speech, the electric voice back, or the artificial voice back, because uh, what's happening is there's that. Um, uh, there's that irritation uh, usually what's happening uh, if this ha uh, if this uh, event happened right um, they'll have like a, a horse um, kind of voice and they'll have some um, you know sort of like a changes in the airway resistance okay uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, quickly about the um, when there's like a spasmodic contraction that's happening in the laryngeal um, muscles, right? Um, usually we, you know, as a parent, um, like me, I have three uh, kids, uh, three uh, daughters, right? Um, we need to know how to do like CPR. I have to, you know, be able to, even before I I get into the, um, the medical field and, and, you know, just being, just doing, you know, simple, like, uh, you know, business, uh, small business, just to, like, provide for your kids and all that. Um, just a small business that would be able to um, maintain the household expenses, right? And what's happening is that, um, you know, you will be able to, oh, it's dying again, okay.